Ahsoka. I was not expecting you, I was expecting Kenobi. Well, you get to deal with me instead. Ugh, fine. Lighty. You know what? I don't care anymore. Nope. Wait. Wait, missed again. Boof. Ow. Hello, what are you doing here? Ow. Wham. And da da. Okay, that was very bad of the start of the video, but still. Hello and welcome to my review of the Duel of Mandalore set. Um, this set is pretty good. And pretty bad at the same time. Um, now, the Jurassic Park Gate review, I did say I will do that at 100 and I haven't had a chance to yet because I do not have space to put it anywhere. Except for on the shelf, which is right up there. So I can't do every review yet, but I am getting more space soon. Which means I will be able to do the review next week. Possibly. So, it is still a thing, so don't worry. But, we're here to talk about this set right now. So, this is a set what just came out, and it's not bad. So, let's start off with the minifigures. So, first off, the Ahsoka. I like this Ahsoka. Um, now, if you do follow my TikTok, you will know I did do a review of this set already on that. This is a different one for YouTube. So, yeah, uh, I did take off the other lightsaber by accident, but, you know. I like take the off so you can actually see the minifigure. Really nice. That headpiece is really nice. It's in rubber, so be careful with it. Um, the printing looks nice. Let me try and take it off. Okay, there you go. Because of the rubberiness, it is hard to get off, but the face is pretty nice on the um, body printing and everything. Actually, it looks really good. It's a really nice minifigure. Um, the only issue, no arm printing, but, you know, can't really blame them for that and I think this headpiece they could use a smaller one but oh well um it isn't perfect but it's better than nothing and I'm happy that I finally got an Ahsoka to my collection so they can stand in the city right there mole this is a really nice mole it's a lot better than the old mole from 2015 till 2019 I believe no 2020 I believe um until we got the update in the book which I believe was last year as well and um, this is, I believe, the same as the book, just with some mind differences, like no necklace and stuff like that, but pretty much the same figure. So if you got the book and the um, um, tank from last year, you don't really need to pick up this set, because I think it's very similar. But this is a really nice mold. I love this. The printing is amazing. The robotic legs are really good. Back printing is pretty good. The face is finally actually good again, unlike the 2017 one. Here it is. I do know it have like printing, but I kind of misplaced them. But you can see the difference, pretty much. The face looks so much better than this one. Um, but, you know, let's let put him to the side. Um, so let's move on to the set itself. So, the main throne looks pretty good. You have little steps. You have steps here. Um, I would say what they should do is remove this piece... And extend this outwards with some nice um, see-through orange pieces. Um, so that you have like the main walkway to the throne. That's what I would do. These flowers look pretty nice and like they're pretty nice detail. Like that looks decent. It just... They could also have done like angled walls as well. So they could use like the um, hinge piece and ha angled the wall or something. So it looks more dynamic but... Oh well, I will say £15 for this, but 20 alright, but I would say maybe get it on offer. Um, you do have a nice play feature, as I did um, show off in the stupid sketch thing I did. Um, you can also fit him on this throne, so let let use this mole, because that one had the lightsaber, so let's use this one. So you can fit mole on his throne like so. Um, yeah, it kind of look weird with this mole. And you also have a little compartment, so mole can use a blaster for some reason. Yeah, I have no idea why, but that's a thing. Um, but, you know, now that you got this mole here, the cooler mole, 
you might not want to use Creepy Mole. So what you can do with him, just throw him out the window. Yeah, he can be thrown out the window. You know what, I should have done that for the opening sketch. Oh well, I'll do that for the next video. Um, so, but, you know, he's still alive, so what you can do, oh, well, he's, he's, he didn't, he, you know, he haven't been punished enough, he can easily escape. Um, so what you can do, you can just hide him in here, so when you do need him for your Phantom Menace displays, you can come back and get him from in there. That actually kind of looked pretty intimidating, and it's really dusty already, like, seriously, how on earth does it get this dusty? And then this mole can take his rifle thrown back. And Ahsoka just stands there because they know where to put them. But, yeah. Um, this set is actually a pretty good set. I do enjoy it. Um, something what I did mention on my TikTok, which I will mention here as well, is the sticker for this. And it's a little sneaky technique to try and make sure it lines up correctly with the eyes. Stick the sticker on the bottom. Make sure it's at the very, very bottom when you attach it. Don't go to the top. Because if you attach at the bottom, or aim for the bottom to attach it to, so I recommend putting on the glass piece and then put on the sticker so that you can actually line it up, otherwise it will be all wonky. I did not do that, and I feel like that would have been a smarter idea. I don't think it is wonky, maybe a tiny bit but not too much. And also, don't aim for the top because that will be our place, so aim for the bottom because it lines up near perfectly actually you can see it lines up perfectly i think some people lined it up from the top and stuff and it's out of place so you want it to look accurate so aim for the bottom when it's put on the sticker um you also get a side sticker here which is a panel not really interesting but nice detail the inside is pretty basic you can fit his lights even there i think but you know not the best but not the worst Really simple, but it works. And the throne, like I said, expand it a bit, add on some side walls or a walkway, or both. Makes it more worth it, money. Because the other two battle sets, the Star Killer one, you have a lot of playability. You have Hidden Blaster, and also you have Opening Platform. The Dual Mustafa, Falling Parts, Exploding Parts. I'm opening platform this here, and, and, so, really nothing, like, is this, is this meant to be this, um, opening part here, is that, is that this set's version of it, even the 2017, um, Duel on um, Naboo set was actually, which came with this mole here, was actually good because it came with three minifigures and also was a pretty sizable build for £20. So, in total, I do recommend getting this set. It is nice to get an Ahsoka and a mole for cheap if you don't own them, but I will say wait till it go on clearance or on offer. Um, I recommend if you see it for £15. Fair play. It is pretty good for that price. £20, well, £18, a good price, but I wouldn't really recommend going for it that, at that price. I would recommend wait till it go on offer, but still not bad. I bought it for full price. Not complaining. I have a, but, you know, if you want a good, but I will show you the box and stuff. The instructions are pretty small. They are really small for the set, like, that my hand for comparison, they had tiny instructions. Um, I actually have noticed, and I want to talk about the instructions, because I noticed a mistake in them, which I don't know if other people have, um, but I found it funny. And so, let's fast forward to um, this step right here. So you see here, there is that, that, that. In this step, you had cheese slopes on there. No cheese slope, cheese slopes. Where do they appear? Well, in the next step, you put them on. So what I believe they've done is that this was here, then this, then that. But they kind of got them mi mixed up. Fun little thing, if you ask me. Um, I like it. I'll, I, the mistakes like that can be funny to find. 
Um, again, pretty nice. Lining them up can be a pain, so watch out for that. But, you know, pretty easy to follow, like all instructions. Um, other sets here. That is a good set. I need to pick that up. Is that anything that know that part of the set? This is a set which also looks pretty decent. Might have to pick that up. They're, and they show in some sets from last year as well, like Anakin Starfighter, the 501st Battle Pack, which I bet everyone have at this point, and the other set with Ahsoka in. And then on this page here, you have some minifigures like the Bad Batch. And then you have the Mandalorian sets as well. I don't know why those aren't actually in here. And you also have this set minifigures and also the um, Forge set, which I believe only just last week or a few weeks ago have been officially revealed. Um, but this set actually, in fact, I think this set actually came out before that set was actually officially revealed. I don't know. Um, and then you have an ad for, Sky, uh, for the Skywalker Saga, which I don't know when that's coming out. Possible at this point, or possibly could be like 2025 at this rate. But yeah, um, the box is also pretty good. You have the Ahsoka Trooper there, to show that it's Clone Wars. Two minifigures, the size, and for Lego Life, and the back, which shows play features. So, pretty generic box. And also you have them dueling there, because why not? So yeah, overall, a really good set. Recommend getting it on offer, full price. Sure, but I recommend getting it on offer if you want the best. There is better sets, this is possibly the worst set of the wave, but not a bad set at all. It This wave is really strong. It is one of the strongest Lego like, Star Wars waves to date. So if this is the worst set of the wave, yeah, they are, th this wave is amazing because this set is a really good set, just a bit pricey. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that. If there are any more sets you want to review of, I'm more than happy to do it. Um, this is my Lego City display. Right now, what I'm doing, I just it's just a small thing. I love this, by the way. Um, side note. But yeah, if there's anything else you want to see, just tell me and I might do a review on it. And also, I will do Transformers as well. So if I want to review a Transformers, I will do them as well. Because I love my Transformers. So yeah. Um, Hope you enjoyed. I have been down a lot. And yeah, if you got this far, please like and subscribe. And comment Green Goblin if you made it this far, so I know that you actually watched to the end. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.